both grandfathers served, my father served, all of a sudden you start adding it up because it was, it was uh, you know, the first generation to uh, without the draft and without uh, being called to service. So I, I, I take this with such responsibility and the fact that this story like this has never been told. So that, that, that meant a tremendous amount. My wife grew up in, in communist Poland, and uh, her father was a member of Solidarity. And when we started, uh, my, when my wife and I started dating, and I, would, and I met my now father-in-law, uh, he would talk about what freedom means and how we have no concept of it. Uh, meaning, you don't know what it is until you either don't have it or it's being threatened. Uh, and that was really, so when you talk to these servicemen and women, especially during World War II, uh, where the world was changing so quickly, um, and it really could have gone the other way. Well, they're in for a ride. You know, that's the thing. Nothing is too big for Roland. Everything is, he's so cool and calm about everything. At the end of the day, he really knows that it's about people, it's about characters. So he worked really hard with our writer, Wes Took, and uh, creating these, you know, really retelling these stories and really uh, getting inside these men's hearts.